What's good, everybody? Welcome back. Now, as basketball fans, we are quick to judge a player by their performance, obviously. Either they can really hoop or they're just trash. It's that simple. But throughout history, we have some players that have become like fan favorites. Even though they have the skill, it's not about that. They just give off this type of vibe that just draws people in to liking them. And the player that we are going to be talking about today is Yuki Okubo. Yuki Okubo has always been a diamond in the rough type of talent, and his height really made people doubt him. But a couple of years ago, he teamed up with Shaq's son, Sharif O'Neal, and just that spotlight really gave him the opportunity to show everyone what he was made of, and he took full advantage. But that was two years ago. Sharif O'Neal had graduated, and this took the exposure away from Yuki Okubo. So in this video, we are going to be talking about what happened to Yuki Okubo and see if his game has evolved since then. So stick around to the end of the video. But real quick before we get started, I want to take this time to shout out all my subscribers that be supporting my videos consistently. And I want to welcome my new subscribers to the channel. Let me know that you're new down in the comment section. I be trying to think of ways to interact with y'all. I know I be responding to comments, but I ain't gonna lie, it be getting overwhelming. So if you want to interact with me more directly, just DM me on Instagram or something like that. I'll be more likely to see it that way. But enough of all that talking. Let's get back into this video. Now, even though I said he was a fan favorite earlier in the video, he still be getting some hate, mostly because of his height. He's only 5'5". Five five. All my Heart Over Hype members, let it be known down in the comment section. Y'all need to represent. But realistically, the people who be talking trash about him usually fall into four categories. Number one, they probably never touch the basketball and they just be jealous. Y'all know how that is. Number two, they probably do play basketball, but they just upset at the fact that he got a lot of exposure and they didn't. It happens, bro. Number three, the rare occasion is when a player that is actually very good, but they just talk down on the ones that's not on their level. And those be the worst ones because you can try to talk trash back, but you still can't beat them. Everybody knowing that you lost, he will have you looking like this. What you mean? I beat it. Everybody out there know I beat it. Everybody out there know I beat it. And number four is basically they just talking trash just to get in your head. And he dealt with this a lot. Just listen to this crowd. Yeah, as you can see, they used to be on his head for no reason. During this time, you can say that he was the top three options on the team, but he really just played his role. Because of his height, he had to find ways to be effective. And one way that he did this is by defending guards that were way bigger than him. And he really be locking them up too. He be guarding players full court, just making it hard for them to set up their offense. And believe it or not, he be blocking layup attempts too. Other than that, he really just does whatever a point guard is supposed to do. Just putting his teammates in the right position to score. And if that's not open, he can consistently knock down mid-range jumpers. And he surprisingly can finish at the rim. And it don't be no wide open layups. Majority of the time, it's a defender towering over him. And he manages to always finish. This year is his senior season at Crossroads High School. The team is not as good as it once was, but that happens when people graduate. But Yuki Okubo has really become the star player on that team. And it really seems like he plays more smooth now. Like it's too easy for him. I'm interested on in seeing if he's going to be playing college ball next year. I tried to hit him up on Instagram so that I could get some more information about that, but he never responded. Either he didn't see the message or he just wasn't feeling it. I understand. So we just gonna have to wait and see. That wraps up this video. Make sure you leave a like and comment a video y'all think I should do next. Peace. Pockets getting fed and mirrors getting stressing. Off white on my bed and drip all in my dressing. Mustard on the muzzy, Rari look like cat. Tell these niggas want beef, but I don't hear the smoke detect up. Please don't get me started, boy. You need to get your bands up. Asking me what happened, yeah, that last one was an anthem.